Hey guys, just wanted to make uh, another video about uh, taxonomy and menu items. So kind of a part two of the, the first one I did called service portal menu config. Just going to go through a bit of this taxonomy stuff and how that works. And uh, yeah, it can be a bit confusing. So let's take a look at this. So we have human resources, technology services, for example, if you check out some of these, you will notice that it goes to the pretty much the same page. Uh, but this was a bit a uh, bad example, but uh, let me take another one. I'm going to show you this one. So you can actually publish content to to whatever. Uh, so let's take another example. So this was access uh, issues. Let's go to printers, for example. And this is what you usually find is that you have this uh, page or this template. So if you go to the URL of this one, you can see this is pretty much what I got going. And we have this ID is equal to, to this. That is pretty much this uh, page that we are seeing here where we have the, the header or whatever. And then we have connected requests and knowledge articles that we can see. So let's take another one just to, to show you guys. Let's go to this training set. So you can see it, it's the, the same uh, thing. We get this uh, thing here and that we support resources. And here we can see we have our article and then we can have knowledge, knowledge articles. And we also have this quick link uh, stuff on the right side. So pretty much let's just look at another one just to, to show you guys. So you can see the exact same thing. So if you do not have a connected um, connected stuff to the, the different topics, the topics won't show. And that is the same one for the taxonomy. If you don't have anything connected, it won't be displaying here. So let me show you an example of that. So let me go back to the uh, backend view here. Let's go to taxonomy right here. And here we can create a, another taxonomy if you want to. And I can just show you how to do that. So I've created another taxonomy here. So what you need to do is to, or I can just show you this one that's default. So let's go into this one. Here we can see we have a uh, human resource, uh, tech risk and compliance and technology services. So why we can't see this risk and compliance, if I go into this record, is because we don't have anything connected to it. So if I scroll a bit down here, we see connected content. We do not have any connected content and we do not have any child topics. So that is why we can't see this risk and compliance topic. Um, so let me show you, if you go to portals, let's so open that in a new tab and go into uh, the employee center and let's uh, scroll down. And here we can see the taxonomy. So this is the taxonomy that is connected to the employee center. So if you create a new taxonomy and you create new topics, you also have to go into the portal and connect the taxonomy here. So that is one thing to remember. So let's go back here. You can see we do not have anything. So let's maybe try to uh, add something here. Let me change the scope. And one thing I can show you so let's connect something and we can connect whatever we uh, or we can connect uh, a knowledge article a catalog item or a quick link let's just do a knowledge article and just pick one that's good so you can see right there but i just connected a knowledge article so let's see if we can see something now Let's go back to this and make a refresh. And you see, we can't see it. That is why, because we have the advanced portal navigation on. So this is not something you, uh, you just need to know it actually. So let's go to advanced portal navigation, open that in a new tab. And um, I have different ones here, but um, the one we are looking at is the employee center and you can see this is active. So you do not go into this uh, link, but you need to go into this reference link here. So the thing about advanced portal navigation in is when it's on, when it's active, it's going to override what you currently have. So that is important to know. So you can see this one is uh, true 
and it's on the taxonomy so it should be uh, enabled so um, another thing you might uh, st stumble into is when I make a refresh it actually doesn't show up uh, that is why because the taxonomy you have to clear the cache or log in and out so let's try to do that so I spent a lot of time trying to figure out why this was not working because I actually needed to make a refresh here or make a um, log in and out and now you can see the risk and compliance have been uh, have is uh, showing up so again if you don't know this this is gonna make you it's so pain in the ass to, to figure out so here you can see the risk and compliance and we can see the knowledge article I just uh, uh, made or I got into this connected so now let's take a look how we can make uh, like uh, some static uh, content because if you you might want like some of these topics to not be like this page right you want it to be like connected to a link that goes to uh, like google.com or whatever you want something something else so let's try to add um, something to this thing here so um, let's go back to the back end let's go to content publishing so I also made a video about this, so you can check that out if you want to. So let's create a new. So we are, we want to make a um, portal and then we can, I think we can do whatever, but um, let's try, so articles and pages, let's try the rich uh, content. Just take a look here again we have also rich text style content let's try this one and we can connect this actually to a topic so let's just give it some name and open the editor and yeah this is good let's save that save and finish let's go to publishing and we make a publishing plan call it whatever and seal service uh, portal is the location and first we can choose the, the widget and let's pick it this one the uh, topic rich content and now you, you can see it's uh, pre-failing some stuff and we can see the the page that is the, the page we were looking at earlier and now we can uh, choose the taxonomy and we want to do the employee te taxonomy to get it on the employee center portal. And now we pick the, the topic. So let's find the use the risk and uh, add audience. Let's do for all the active users and uh, save publish plan. The published, the content has been saved. So let's go back to uh, back here make a refresh and here you can see we got that content that we were that we now published so now here you can have a static text and you can have a picture so this looks uh, kind of good I would say and you can change the logo and stuff so what do you usually want or maybe you thinking about having a topic go directly into a like a knowledge article like you can do that of course but you can also do this to just make that the uh, static content of the knowledge article here in this um, page i think it can uh, it looks quite good and we also have the connected stuff so let's take this away and see if we can still find uh, this uh, risk to see if we need some the connected content does uh, is it mandatory really actually don't know so let's take a look so let's go to taxonomy again to employee risk and we are in correct scope so let us delete this Now let's save that 
And I think we need to log in and out again, I think. So let's go back here, make a refresh. Yeah, we can see it's gone and we can still see the, the topic, which is good. But to make sure this is uh, working, we can uh, log in and out. So let's do that. Log in. Yeah, we can still see it, so that's nice. Let's click on that uh, risk again. Yeah, perfect. So what I also want to do to show you is the, um, we can use the menu items as well. Menu. So the thing about uh, taxonomy, let's go back to the taxonomy stuff. So we can have uh, this, uh, what we call um, parent topic. I can see these three are actually taxonomies. This is uh, the advanced, advanced portal navigation. And then we had to uh, get support and we have your team, which is not the taxonomy, but it's a um, menu item from the employee center menu widget. So get support and your team. So this is the one, get support, and this is your team. And you can see your team is um, also a drop down. But the thing about menu items, it can you can just have one child topic. You can't have more grandchildren as you can have here. So in te uh, these technol technology services, you have different uh, topics right here, and then you have grandchildren underneath. But uh, but this when you have these grandchildren, you can just uh, go to the the same page as as this one but from um, the menu items you can have connected directly to something else so if, if i click on manager hub for example this is not the page right this is another page that looks completely different so that is the the difference here so um so this is the advanced portal navigation so let's go to the, the menu I was talking about. So let's find it. Here it is. So menu and we go to employee center. This is the one. And that's the widget. So this is the one we are talking about. Here you can see the, the menu items. And you can see that, for example, this org chart and uh, news center. It is active, it is uh, true, but we can't see it. So why is that? That is because this um, advanced portal navigation, advanced portal navigation, when it's true, again, it's um, it overrides all the different stuff. And here we can see we don't have that news center. So that is why it's not popping up. But what we can do is to go into the scope and then we can make a sync. So we have a sync uh, hierarchy right here. This UI actions, let's click that and see what happens. So this brings in any new topic or menu items in our game. Okay, let's sync that. And now you can see we got home, we got new center and org chart. So that's cool. So let's see if that did something now to the to the, new, the employee center. And you can see we got now home, news center and org chart. So that's perfect. So let's click on news center, for example, and this brings us here. Okay, so again, if you have the advanced portal navigation on, this is gonna be uh, overriding all the stuff, but you can uh, make uh, click on this sync to get the sync from both um, taxonomy and the uh, service portal menu, um, the menu items stuff. You can also just deactivate this, but then you have to, oh, well, that is actually what I recommend to do, <laughs> to deactivate this. And if you actually just, if you need um, like a, a taxonomy topic that should act like one of these. Uh, what I mean by that, if you have, um, if you go back to the employee center and you have 
many different um, you have ch grand uh, grand uh, child topics and you want that grand 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 uh, child topic to not go into this page uh, that displays the request and the, the knowledge articles then you would you you need to use the advanced portal navigation and make it go to google.com or whatever right you have more options there so that is uh, uh, a video about this I, I know it's um uh, i make this video because I, I worked a bit with this now and i find it quite confusing in the start so i wish i had this video myself when i was starting to to work on this so i hope you enjoy that video and uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this and uh, i i see you in the next one okay bye